They say variety is the spice of life, and if that's the case, it's certainly spicy enough here up in Newcastle for WB and Sons next sale on Saturday, the 11th of March. And don't forget their Sunday club the week before on the 5th of March. And safe to say, Joe, another wide selection of fantastic cars here today. Indeed, and we're starting with perhaps the most wild in the sale. Welcome to the Mac 1. ZX-10R. It looks like a caterer, but it is so much more. It's powered by a Kawasaki ZX-10R superbike engine, which would be mental enough, but they stuck a turbo on it, which means this little beast, which weighs less than half a tonne, has 300 horsepower. Utterly terrifying. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's got a, a flat foot shift, you know, you can, you can hear that sequential gear shift. Better power to weight ratio than a Bugatti Veyron, this thing. Full cage, seats and harnesses. It's not for the faint of heart, this one. No, it's safe to say. I do want to show you a, a slightly more conventional performance machine just over here. So I'm going to go over here. Are you Come and join me. Yeah. Couldn't we have started with a Rolls Royce? <laughs> Okay, oh. Joe, this is a bit of you. Renault 5 Gordini Turbo. What a little weapon this is. And no standard Gordini, you might notice the wider stance on it. That's because it's got a Turbo 2 body kit grafted onto it. So you get all the looks for a tenth of the price. What a cool little thing. So it has 70,000 miles. It looks incredible. What a thing. I do like it. It's uh, definitely a, a, a mental hot hatch to appreciate. I want to go over just over here. There's a, a, a familiar face. So you should remember this one, Joe. I think uh. you. Uh, Took this out for a spin, literally. Uh, yes, I did. 2005 Caterham Lotus 7. You might remember a video a couple of years ago. First time we came out to WB and Sons, in fact. Um, I said, can I take that for a spin? They said, yes, you can. And I did. Here's that moment, if you don't remember it. Means that life with a Caterham can get nervy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's back. The previous owner obviously took one drive out of it in the rain and decided it wasn't for them. But if you fancy something that's still a great track car, but a bit less lethal than the uh, Mac 1 ZX-10 over there, this is perfect for you. 140 odd horsepower K-Series in it. It's got two sets of wheels, one for the road, one for the track. It's got different suspension. It's got the full wet weather gear. So if you do want to take it out in the rain, you won't necessarily get wet. It's got the Bimini top with it as well, the side windows. It's an XK from Academy car, but it's been thoroughly maintained and looked after by Lotus. So you know it's a mechanically flying Fettel. It's a great little car. Just don't drive it in the wet. No. Indeed. I want to show you some slightly more traditional British sports cars just over here. Slightly less spinny, hopefully. I want to show you this 1965 Triumph TR4A. So this has got the independent rear suspension. Glorious. This would have been the first year of production of the TR4A. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's uh, fantastic condition. Paint on it is amazing. The interior is nice and fresh. The steering wheel's got a little bit of patina on it, which is a nice touch. No, I think this is lovely. But if you prefer your Triumphs a little bit less hairy chested, Mark III Spitfire. That is my choice of Spitfire because you get the uh, newer front end on it, but you still get the kind of fin tail rear, and I think it's lovely. Now, this one's got a really low guide price, and it's probably because it's a rolling restoration project. It, it needs, needs someone, a bit of work. Yeah, Triumph, of course, celebrating its centenary this year. Of course so. it is, so celebrate it in a bit of style. But if you don't want any work to do, you want to go out and enjoy it now, what about this? Now. TR6 injection, sir. It's a right-hand drive, it's a UK car. WB have said this could be the best TR6 on the market right now, and you know what? I'm inclined to believe them. It's Bold words, stunning. but it is stunning. Yes, absolutely right. It's, uh, yeah, I do like the TR6. Glorious condition. The soft top is fantastic and perfect. 43,000 miles on this. And I use this for an upcoming TR6 buying guide, which means I can tell you that all the trouble areas for these cars, this has none of them. It is rot-free, the paint is glorious. If you want a TR6, buy this one. It's no. fabulous. Absolutely. Can I just take you to uh, Wales' third best export behind Tom Jones and Catherine Zeta-Jones? Oh, what a, what a title to hold. Yeah. Welcome to the Gilburn GT. Absolutely fabulous. This has got the MG B series engine in it. The 1800, which means it makes a lovely noise, but unlike an MGB, fiberglass. No rust. It's fabulous, actually, and I didn't know much about them, but fortunately, Classics Monthly magazine's April 23 edition has a whole feature on Gilburn. It's a fascinating story about how it all came about. Um, what a fascinating brand. little car. It's a great option if you fancy a little sports car in the mould of an MGB GT, but something a bit left field. You haven't got to yeah. worry about the rust, of course, and mechanically it's going to be simple to maintain. The price, I think, is a really fair estimate on this. I think this is a cracking little car. If I had time to go and drive it, I'd take it out right now. But do you know what? I did have time to drive. No, what one? This. My childhood poster car 
in the metal. Behold, the 997 generation Porsche 911. Now, it's slightly annoying, Joe, that it is your uh, childhood car, because it makes you about 12 in my eyes, but yeah. nonetheless, <laughs> 997, 911 is where they got back on track in my eyes oh. after a slightly wavy period with the 996, but this is superb. It's an automatic. Carrera S, it, I would power. I wouldn't put that off. I love the, love the color combo. The think, lobster claw wheels, which are the ones to have. Yeah. It's in fabulous condition. It's done 121,000 miles, but it's very recently had a full ground up engine rebuild by a Porsche specialist. I took it out for an upcoming video, and you know what? It was everything that eight year old me wanted it to be. You'd never believe this is done 120K. You'd think it had done 40K. It feels fantastic. And for the price you pay for it, I don't think there's a better car for the money. So if you did buy it, your next car, you'd probably revert to Italian, I'm assuming. Potentially, but I'd be tempted to stay blue, stay two-door. What about... Like it. The Lancia Fulvia. What a little thing this is. 1300S Coupe, left-hand drive because it's an Italian import. The red leather interior is oh, just so pretty. So, so they pretty. They are gorgeous to look at, aren't they? I think you'd look so cool barreling along on this. Absolutely. The V4 engine, so it, you do have to rev it, make no mistake, but it's Italian, of course you have to rev it. And this stunning blue, you'll recognize this is a Jagman. This was originally a blue car, but this isn't Lancia blue. This is Jaguar E-type opalescent yep. blue. And isn't it stunning? It looks great for it, doesn't it? Go Goes really, really well with that sort of wine red interior. No, this is Italian class through and through. I love but it. If you want a Jaguar in blue, there's one over here that well, really yes, must I recognise show you. this from it's our the, great classic trade-up challenge in the metal once again. It's a 4.2 XK8 convertible. The 20-inch BBS wheels on it with a blue hood. I think it's a gorgeous thing. I think you bought well here. Brand new MOT on it now. A decent amount of work doing to it. I, I hope it gets the value back for it, not just because of the trading up limit, but because the money is all going to a very worthwhile cause. That's a very good point we need to mention is that this car, we're not selling this for profit, this is being sold for charity. So if you bid on this, there are gonna be no buyer's fees on this whatsoever. Every single penny of the sale price on this car is going to charity. This is a fantastic cause and a fantastic car. So bid it up because every penny you pay is going to a lovely cause. And I think that is just fabulous. Not to mention it's a great car. But if you fancy something more modest, what about a little walk down here? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, well, I'll let you lead on actually yes indeed but first our friends at lancaster insurance are running monthly giveaways you can win all sorts from experience days to tools restaurant vouchers and tech so click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition from Jaguar to something altogether harder working sir 1992 Rover Maestro Van. The Perkins diesel model. Indeed, the almighty Perkins diesel. Um, I'm not sure who used to own it. It's uh, not obvious no, indeed, but if you wanted a platform for your business to fast track your success, I need to train my thoughts. Oh dear. But anyway, this is a fabulous thing. It had a bit of paintwork and a bit of welding in 2020, and it is almost entirely as it would have been back in the early 90s. By this point, not badged as an Austin, of course, it's badged as a Rover Maestro, formerly owned by a British Rail. And if you just want to have a peek in the back, there's all kinds of goodies in there. There's an original hard hat, there's all the paperwork for oh it, high vis jacket, all the British Rail memorabilia that went with this van when it was new. Great piece of history. And obviously these sort of classic commercial vehicles, very sought off now. Well, actually, absolutely. So. I want to see this bought by someone who who doesn't lock it away, who takes it to shows, or even rents it out for use on TV or something. A Just model railway enthusiast, that's who needs to buy this. Absolutely. Well, if you're the model customer for it, it's at a keen price, so go and have a beer. But if you fancy something equally as tidy, but maybe a little bit more family oriented, yes. what about this? This Just is glorious, isn't it? Mark 1 Console Cortina estate and WB have said this could well be the best one in the country and you know what I'm not arguing with them stunning it's this came out in 1963 and this has got the 1.2 Kent engine in it what a joy it's been resprayed but very well done apparently it's that was the, documented in a Cortina Club magazine I believe it's the deluxe trim so you get these nice sort of chrome body trims few little niceties inside the green cloth interior to go with the dark green bodywork I think it's lovely what but about something a bit more modern a bit well more potent Quite, how about this? 1987 Series 2 RS Turbo. Now we've featured a few of these before, WB have quite a lot of them in, but this one is special for a number of reasons. It's bone stock down to the radio. Looks great in Mercury Grey as well. It's had one owner wow. and it's done 37,000 miles. I Just do. incredible, isn't it? I think this uh, might fetch a rather decent price. This is as Ford intended and it's all the better for it. Even the seats aren't sagging, which is just a given on these cars. Yeah, those Recaro just look really, really great. Don't they? Fine condition example of an increasingly rare hot hatch. Yeah. I think this is awesome. Absolutely, yeah. What about if you fancy some more sedate performance though, more refined? Yep. You're a gentleman of taste and refinement, Phil. You're like this. Rolls-Royce Silver Seraph. Lovely. 
This is this. a very rare car. Obviously, it's the twin sister to the Bentley Anage, but with a V12 at the front rather than the V8. Yes. And an incredibly rare car. They made 1,570 of them. This one, I've driven for an upcoming road test. It's done 90,000 miles, which means it's been used. And as a result, it drives beautifully. Everything on it works. You're never going to see another one unless you go to some sort well, of... Well, and the values at retail reflect that as well. They're really going up with silver well, and, and this is a really sensible guide price in comparison to that. Quite so. right. Fabulous example of an extremely rare and tasteful luxury car. Love well, it. Look, we've had some sports cars. We've had some hot hatchbacks. We've had some absolutely peak British luxury. I really want to bring it down to some bread and butter stuff, but that's outside. So can we oh, hang yes. out there? You'll want to see this. Now, you couldn't get a bigger contrast between the Rolls-Royce Silver Serif, but here we have a Peugeot 405 diesel estate. What a beauty though, isn't it? Just 20,000 miles on the clock. Late model, because it's the facelifted interior. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's utterly original. Diesel engine will just run and run. This will do half a million forever. miles. But I mean, just as a, as a curiosity, they're so rare now. Mm. And in such fantastic condition, I would just, oh, I would More love it. More to the it. point, I think you could win Festival of the Unexceptional with this. Yeah, just, just absolutely, absolutely. And if you still want the Peugeot engine, but something a bit Britishy, there are some Rover R8 over there, hatchback with the 1.8 diesel. We're looking at across a scope of stuff in the car park. There's a Mercedes SL 124, there's an Austin Princess, there's a Bentley Flying Spur. Talbot, Talbot Horizon gets my vote. Yeah, you yes, love that. Absolutely. There's all kinds of stuff, as ever from WB. This could be their most varied sale yet. Everything from camper vans to caterums. So as ever, go and look on the WB website to see every car, bike, camper van, and everything else in this sale. Do let us know if you're planning to bid on anything. And as ever, thanks for watching. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.